it's me your girl Elisa from stylishcurves.com and today I'm back with a new video so today's video is going to be a video all about my favorite skincare products specifically for oily acne prone skin so if you guys have been following me for a while I've said time and time again that I have oily skin and most times oily skin is acne prone skin so we are quick to get breakouts um, so this video I'm going to just show you some of my tried and true products that work. Every product I'm going to show you, you've possibly seen in a favorites video, you see me use it on my Snapchat, if you follow me on Snapchat, and also on my Instagram. So every product I'm showing you is products that I actually use and that have helped me to maintain an acne free skin or even if my acne break comes out again. These are products that I use to make sure that the acne goes away and these are also products that I use to try to combat my oily skin. So if you are interested in checking out this video, then keep on watching. So let's jump right in. So the first things I'm going to talk about is the cleansers that I use. So as I said in the beginning of the video, I have oily skin um, and my oily skin can turn into acne prone skin. So the first thing that I use, especially because I'm a makeup wearer and I wear makeup probably every other day. The first cleanser that I use is a skin therapy cleansing oil. And you guys have seen this in a favorites video. This is actually from Palmer's Cocoa Butter and this is a um, new uh, cleansing oil for them. I know some of you are like oily skin, cleansing with oil. Does that make any sense? But <laughs> it actually does. I used to think it didn't make sense, but it actually does. Um, a cleansing oil I'm really a fan of and also cleansing balms is because they really slide your makeup off of your face. I actually uh, use a facial Clean, I use two facial cleansers. So this is the first facial cleanser I would use, especially if I had a day where I had on a full face of makeup. And the reason why I like this is because it, number one, has a rose hip uh, fragrance, and then it also has grapeseed, jojoba, and rose hip oils and vitamin C in it. So when I use this, it really takes off my makeup, but it also makes my skin still feel kind of soft. It does kind of leave a greasy... I don't even want to say greasy, but your skin will feel like there's oil on it. But like I said, I like to use it to remove my makeup. The second cleanser that I love and that I go in with after this is I use a regular facial cleanser and it's an acne facial cleanser from Mario Badescu. Now, I like this facial cleanser because if you have acne prone skin and you have current breakouts, this bad boy right here will get rid of them in a matter of like a couple of days. Now, this is a product I've been using for maybe about two weeks it's a new cleanser that i tried and the reason why i really like it is because it has chamomile in it it has aloe vera it has thyme and it has salicylic acid to help combat um acne so this is the cleanser that i'm using right now on a daily basis and i use it morning and night so, all right so now when i cleanse my face i have instead of using like a towel i used to use a towel to cleanse my face but instead of using towels i actually use skincare devices which i find so much better to help cleanse my skin and so one of the skincare devices that i am completely in love with right now is the Loon is Foreo's Luna 2 skincare cleansing device. And this video I'm doing today is actually in collaboration with Foreo. And I'm telling you, like this thing feels like you're at the spa and someone is doing your face because it's nice and gentle, but it does uh provide a little pressure so you do feel like your skin is kind of being buffed and rotated on it feels amazing i use this in conjunction with my facial cleanser so after i remove my makeup 
I then go in with this because this definitely helps to kind of dislodge any more um, dead skin cells or dirt and oil that is within your skin. I have been trying out their Luna 2 skincare for the past couple of weeks and right now like I said I'm truly loving it and there are a few reasons why I love this. Um, one, I love it because it definitely helps with my pore appearance. It definitely helps to kind of diminish the appearance of pores. It also helps to get rid of uh, dead skin cells. And then another thing that Luna has that a lot of other skincare devices don't have is that they actually have devices geared towards your skin type. So the, the, the I'm using the Luna 2. And this is for oily combination skin. And they also have other cleansers, cleansers, other cleansing devices that cater to dry skin and to all other skin types. So at first I was nervous because I'm like, is this sucker waterproof? Because, <laughs> because of the vibration and it's not battery operated, it comes with a charger. And so the charge, all you got to do is charge it one time and the charge lasts up to I think about like six or seven months. Um, but it's also 100% waterproof, so don't be nervous if you haven't tried it. And so if you haven't checked this out, definitely at least go to the website and just look at all of the great things that it offers. And um, I'm going to just continue rocking with this for right now. So after I go in with my facial cleanser, I then um, use a skin toner and my favorite skin toner, Holy Grail product, you've seen in quite a few of my favorite videos, is the Dickinson's Pore Perfecting Skin Toner. It's a fragrance-free skin toner. It's gentle. As you can see, I am definitely almost done. Um, it's time to re-up on it. And what I love about this is that you can find this in your local drugstores. And because that's where I get mine. I get mine from Dwayne Reed or Rite Aid. And um, it's 100% all natural. It gently cleanses, conditions pores to maintain clear, smooth, and balanced skin without over drying. Because I don't know if this is something that happens to every oily skin person, but it's like your pores are a problem. <laughs> it's like your pores, especially for me right here, is where um, a lot of, I feel like I my pores are really open and I'm like, hey, how are you guys doing? <laughs> so I definitely make sure I use this. So I use this right before I go in with a facial treatment. Now, um, I used to just use this like after I wash my face, after like I finish the treatment and everything, but I find that it's best to go in with a toner first, just so you can make sure you got rid of any residue from the cleanser or any makeup residue and uh, then you start your facial treatments because now that your skin is completely clean, the treatments are gonna work 100% much better than if you didn't. So then I like to go in with a mask. So I love masks and one of my favorite masks, which you guys have also seen in quite a few of my um, favorites videos, I love the Origins Clear Improvement active charcoal mask and as you can see I'm basically on E with this um, and I one love how this mask smells and I love the texture of it so it goes on wet I'm trying to show you a little bit yeah so it goes on wet and you're supposed to leave it on your face for like 10 to 20 minutes is up to you I like to leave it on for 20 minutes and then as it it, it dries up and then it turns into kind of this white grayish kind of mask and I always just feel like it's sucking out the impurities within my pores and I always use this when um, I just got through getting rid of a breakout I like to use this just to make sure that my um, skin is really clean of impurities after I do my mask I also like to go in with another treatment um, and that treatment is to help get rid of my dark spots um, which drive me nuts <laughs> those of you who are oily and acne prone you guys know what I'm talking about um, so I go in with my Kiehl's dark spot corrector I actually have a full-blown video on how this has cleared up a lot of my dark spots I'm basically empty on this so it's time to re-up if this is not a cheap product this is like $50 for a one fluid ounce um, bottle and they have a larger bottle than this but this to me is a holy grail product especially after you've gotten rid of your pimples and sometimes they leave that dark mark behind I definitely use this um, morning and night just to help 
get my dark spots a little brighter. The next thing I also use is if I have an existing pimple, I also go in with um, Mario Badescu's drying lotion. And this right here is a lifesaver and this has really helped me in the past two weeks as I said because my skin was going through a crazy breakout. But I've used this drying lotion and what you're supposed to do when you use this, you see how it's like clear at the top and then pink at the bottom. Um, you're not supposed to shake this up, I thought you did, <laughs> but you're supposed to take a Q-tip and dip the Q-tip all the way down in the pink and then you put the pink on your uh, existing pimple and literally within a matter of like two days that pimple is boosh, gone. So then after I've treated <laughs> um, all of my skin, then I like to go in with an eye cream and right now, basically for the past couple months, I've been obsessed with the uh, benefits. It's potent um, eye cream and I use this every night. I don't use it during the day. I only use eye creams at night and this has definitely helped to lighten up my um, dark circles under my eye. And most importantly, why I like to use this is because it just softens my under eye. It helps with creasing and and sometimes I use this right before I apply my makeup. After moisturizer, I'll put this on so I can get a smoother highlight under my eyes. And then after that, I go in with, um, for nighttime, I'll use the Tarte Maracuja Oil. And I like to use that at night only because clearly I'm oily skin. This during the day will have me looking like a grease monkey. But I have to use this at night. And I use it just to keep my skin nice and soft and moisturizing. This thing right here, you've definitely seen in a couple of favorites videos. I just take like one drop of it and rub it in my hand. And then I just pat it in my skin. I don't rub it. I pat it and I swear to you when I wake up the next morning, my skin is very soft. And almost like a little luminous <laughs> when I use it. But... During the day, I would like to go in with my Olay Complete. And this is just a combination oily skin all day moisturizer that has SPF 15 in it. And if you, it don't matter your skin tone, your skin type, SPF 15 or SPF 30. However, SPF is important so you don't get skin damage, skin burn, and all that kind of stuff. Definitely use this on a daily basis and I use this in the daytime, um, especially if I know I'm going to be out in the sun. I have to have to put this on. So the next thing I use um, after I do my treatments and after I do my under eye cream, I do like to go in with Lancome's Advanced Genifee Concentrate Serum. And this serum really helped to change the texture of my skin as well. Um, I use this uh, serum morning and night. It's an anti-aging serum. This helps with fine lines and wrinkles. Um, although I'm not there, there yet, <laughs> I do want to keep my skin texture pretty smooth and crease-free as long as I can. But I definitely like to use this. And this one also has a dropper. And I like to just use one full dropper of it. And I pat this within my skin as well. Um, and I do it morning and night. And I notice that sometimes when I use this during the day and then I apply my makeup, after the moisturizer, I feel like my skin looks so buttery soft. And sometimes you guys have even noticed and left a comment in some of my tutorials. And this uh, definitely has helped change the texture of my skin. Alright guys, so I think I've covered all of my current favorite skincare products. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that some of the products I mentioned you guys will definitely check out. Let me know if you've tried any of the products I showed you. Definitely go and check out Foria's Luna 2. They have different types, um, but definitely check this out. And, um, but other than that, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you thumbs it up, leave a comment, let me know what you tried. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!